Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. Um, today I'm bass fishing with the boys. Bevan is already onto one, uh, as you can see back there. Little tucker. Back in some of our old stomping grounds, which is pretty cool. We ha I haven't fished here with Bev in years, and uh, I haven't fished here in years. A chippy over there, rocking the hunt for bronze tea. Throwing around a frog. Not catching anything yet, though. Got one. Oh, he's got one. On the frog? Yeah, he's caught one on the frog. There you go. Uh, this morning, I've got a bit of a spreader lures. I've got a jig, buzz bait, and a surface plastic. So actually rocking a paddle tail on top so that'll be pretty cool anyway we're gonna crack on with it um shippy's actually wearing the the hunt for bonds tea so i'll show you guys that later as well but let's get to it bev's sorting his life out aren't you bev yeah yeah stoked to be fishing oh Yeah, I just had my first little hit of the morning, guys. Oh, yep. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, damn it. Oh. I was right there. Ballsy little things. Yep, on, got him, got him. About time. <laughs> yes. On the weedless plastic, little tucker, but it's a bass. It's a bass. Yes. And here's a healthy fish. He's a little plumper. Look at that, guys. A little fatty on that surf. Well, that plastic just fell straight out. See a bloke. See. Well, we can tick a fish off the list now. I'm not donutting. I've caught one with the boys. Come on, get up to the surface. Oh, you bugger. Yep, got him. Got him. A little tucker. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, see you, mate. Yep, got him. Another little one. Boom. Small tucker. Again, he's just taking that little weedless plastic top water. All right, guys, just about to show you a little trick um, I do with some paddle tails uh, when I run them re weedless because not all of them have that little slit for a weedless hook and when you get something like this with a fat body that you need a hook that's not too big works great on a jig head but not always weedless so what I like to do I like to take my scissors and actually cut down the body only where the hook goes though you just want to get in under there. These are not the best scissors for it. Um, but what you do is you just cut away at the center here. Give that hook somewhere to go. So when you do get a hit, that hook 
can slide up and down the shaft a lot better. So now that I've taken off some of that body, you can actually see that it compresses a bit more and just gives the fish a bit more. Oh! That's why I'm still fishing this. I'm having too much fun. Oh, yep, on. That's a better fish. That's a much better fish. He had a go. It's not bad at all. Not huge, but he's a good fish. He's a 30. He's a good, a good little fish for this area. Yeah, good fish. Good Nepean fish. Bang. Stoked with that little fella. He hit too. Hit and he went. <sighs> Gotta love that. All right, let's let this bugger go. Hooks out. Well, it's been a while since I fished with the guys, so it's, it's quite nice to actually get out there and have a fish with them. But for those of you who haven't already, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a don't forget to go over. It's Christmas time. Get yourself a Hunt for Bronze fishing shirt or a shippy's wearing Hunt for Bronze tee. Go to www.thehuntforbronze.com.au where you can pick one up. Be, love it. I would love it if you'd go up and grab one because, I mean, they're cool little shirts, you know. Got a little hood on it, that slip slop slap protection. Awesome, awesome for those hot days when the sun's burning down in your neck. Even though you cover it up a bit more, you surprise it's it is surprising how much cooler it is just to have that front off you. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna get to back to fishing. Um, if you don't know, I'm throwing a Lunker's City, little Lunker's City uh, grub grubster, 2.75 inch plastic. Awesome to burn across the surface. I almost thought I lost them then. Um, and also fish heaps of other ways. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to fishing. Let's do it. I haven't had a hit in a while. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I haven't had one stick in a while. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. He just boofed it and took it straight in. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's, I think he's done. Oh, I can't believe I missed that twice. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, righto. See ya. Hey Shippy, hold it up for the camera, mate. Hey! Pet fish 
fish tank fish. Huge. Are we hunting for fish tank fish? Sorry, you want to hold him? Remember what a fish feels like? Oh, mate, I've got more than you this morning. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Off he goes. Zing. Following that stew pattern. Huh? Weedless paddle tail drum. There you go. Freaking yoinked it. Top? On top? Um, just those paws and that slow sink. Yeah, man, Yoink. Well, we just had a little break. The boys are the boys are heading home. It's nine o'clock. I'm gonna fish for another hour. Um, gives about five hours of fishing, and then I'll call it and head home. And yeah, all is well. All is right in the world. So let's do it. Um, I might be swapping lures to a subsurface though, because she's gotten a little bit quiet on that surface bite. But let's go. Let's catch some fish. Yep, on, on, yay! Tiny fish though, holy dooly, that is a small bass. Look how small that is! Oh, but I guess it's a fish, caught on that little disco crank. And how's that? Released himself. Didn't even have to do a thing. Lovely. Well, that was nice to just get one. Ah, well, that is the end of the day, guys. Um, cheeky little session here at what used to be my local and probably my last hit out at this river in a, I'm gonna say a long time. I don't even know when I'll be back here, but Standout lures. Standout lures for today. There was one real standout. That was the Lunka City Grubster on a Texas rigged, uh, just a weedless jig head like such, um, and burnt across the surface. That got all bar one of my fish today. So that was a go-to. The other lure which got me my last fish, which although was tiny, you know, was nice to turn the reel over, was a little Domeki Disco 38. These are our new crankbait from uh, Domeki and Shearing Tackle. So great little, great little crankbait, really. Brim love them, bass love them, yellow belly love them. Um, so I've caught a few things on them so far, and got a lot more things to go that I want to catch on them. So I'm looking forward to using these more over the summer and up up when I get to Brizzy. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget, don't forget if you do. Uh, like the shirts go on to the huntforbronze.com.au to pick them up there's also a t-shirt as well hunt for bronze hunt for bronze logo on the back pretty good quality shirt if i do say so myself um don't forget if you do want any more information on the gear i used uh pretty much just being the acm custom rod north fork blank uh that full description is down below if you are looking for a new rod, especially Christmas or just after Christmas, uh, ACM Aaron makes a wicked rod. And I've got a new rod coming, which I'm pretty excited about too. As for now, uh, I'm going to paddle home and see you guys tomorrow when I go out and fish again. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Go out fishing and enjoy yourselves. This has been another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. And I'm out. Peace.